a tense atmosphere in the Yankees clubhouse after this one, a 5-1 to one Yankees loss to the Angels. Here at Angel Stadium, the Yanks have now lost eight of their last ten games. And Aaron Boone trying to flip the script a little bit, saying that the answers are still in that room. He wants to see guys kind of loosen up, have some fun, go out there, get ready to play every day, but go out there like they're kids every night at 6.38 p.m. and go have fun. And uh, in response to a different question, Anthony Rizzo stood at his locker a couple minutes later and said, it's tough to have fun when you're getting your teeth kicked in. And that, that certainly has been the case for this Yankee team as they come in here and get shut down by Patrick Sandoval and now have lost two out of three to the Colorado Rockies on this trip. They've lost the first two here at Angel Stadium series finale tomorrow afternoon, late afternoon game here in L.A. And, you know, we've talked a lot about the offensive drop-off since Aaron Judge ran through that wall in Los Angeles, just up the uh, the freeway here. Uh, but I don't think anybody could have anticipated how drastic the drop-off would be. I mean, ju taking Judge out of the lineup, of course that was going to have a ripple effect. He's the American League MVP, he's the team's best player, but it was no reason for this complete outage up and down the lineup. And you just point to the batting averages and the numbers since that day, June 3rd, and it has been a completely different ball club. And the Yankees have now lost 21 out of 36 games since Judge went on the IL. Now, what's the reason for optimism here? Uh, there's a couple, I guess. Uh, good sign that Judge took batting practice on the field today, did some defensive drills in the outfield. He's done that stuff before, but every time he does it, it seems like he gets a little bit closer to actually playing in games, which is what the Yankees need. And still no set date for that yet, but they are uh, working on it. And it's really going to be a pain tolerance issue for Judge. How much can he withstand and how much calendar will be there be left on the schedule once he does come back and so uh, those are still unanswered questions at this point uh, Oswald Peraza I got on base five times last night really did a nice job grinding out some at bats not as much success here tonight as the Yankees manage only two hits in the game Glaber Torres who has been one of the most consistent offensive performers on this team he had a solo homer and Anthony Volpe had a late single and that was it that's all the Yankees got two hits one run on two hits tonight, and tough to win, even when you've got a guy on the mound who has pitched a perfect game. That was the last time Domingo Herman was on the mound in the state of California, uh, was up the coast in Oakland, and he pitched that perfect game, of course, against the A's. This one, not close to perfect. Uh, you know, he pitched okay, gave up a two-run homer in the first, and as it turned out, that was going to be enough to sink the Yankees on this one. Uh, did give up uh, five runs in all. Uh, Otani had a Run scoring triple, yes, down the right field line. I almost said two run triple, but it was a RBI triple that uh, Stanton chased into the corner. And by that point, game seemed out of reach. And and Herman after the game said, uh, talking a little bit about the Yankees' place in the the standings here, said, "Look, we've got to make adjustments, and because you don't want to let it get too far away." And so this game was obviously out of reach when it was five one, uh, but the Yankees still do have a chance at achieving their goal of at least getting into the postseason, uh, but they are by no means assured, and that should be a sobering thought for uh, the Yankees, and, and certainly you guys, the fan base, you understand, uh, but this team, second highest payroll in baseball, you come in, you figure they're a lock to at least get one of those wild cards. The fact that we're sitting here on June 8, uh, July 18, 19, whatever today is, and it does not, <laughs> it's, it's, it's basically a coin flip, um, that is a stark indictment of uh, where the Yankees stand in this one, but they still got time to turn around. 66 games left to go, but they've certainly got to play a lot better than they've shown here and on this trip. So that's the hokey pokey. That's what it's all about. For From Anaheim, your final score once again is the Angels 5 and the Yankees 1. We'll see you tomorrow afternoon for the finale. Then it's back to New York for the series with Kansas City.